Hey everyone, it's Jeff from New York and we are back in New Orleans on St. Charles Avenue. We're going to visit two famous and well-respected universities here in New Orleans, Tulane and Loyola. The first one we're walking by is Tulane University. Tulane began as a medical college in 1834 and they've grown into one of the most well-respected research universities in the country. They have about 1,700 classes to choose from and offer more than 70 majors in five different schools, including science and engineering, architecture, business, liberal arts, and public health. And if you can't pick one of those, about a third of the students here have a double major. Just a reminder, this is Cray Cray the Crawfish from Louisiana. He shows up somewhere in all my New Orleans videos, so please help me find him. Be the first to spot Cray Cray in this video and leave a comment below with the timestamp you spotted him, and you'll get a shout out on an upcoming video on this channel. And every graduate student gives back to the community. Tulane is the first research university to require community service in the curriculum. Last year alone, the students logged more than 780,000 hours of civic service in New Orleans. Spend a little time here and it'll become clear that Tulane and New Orleans are very well connected. Tulaneans, and that's what they're called, come from 58 countries and in all 50 states. Tulane's beautiful tree-lined campus will feel like home in no time. Students can choose to live in residential colleges with people who share their same interests or opt for a more traditional dorm experience. Residence halls and libraries offer quiet places to study, but there's many other cozy places to uh, study or even take a nap in between classes. There's over 25 dining locations on campus alone, and students are never far from the wide range of meals and snacks that the university has to offer. There's also a monthly farmer's market, food trucks right here on St. Charles Avenue, and a late night dinner, and that's just some of the uh, most popular offerings here on campus. The temperature rarely goes below 50 degrees here in New Orleans, so Tulane students are almost always able to spend their free time active and outdoors. And if you're a gym rat, Tulane's on-campus gym also is a great place to unwind after a long day to go swimming, take exercise classes, or run a few laps around the indoor track. There's a number of entertaining theatrical performances, concerts, and speakers on campus throughout the year. Tulane students are never at a loss for activities, either behind the scenes, on stage, or just in the audience. As to be expected, security is tight here at Tulane as well as Loyola, so we're just walking past the universities to get a feel for what they look like and what campus life is like. Um, out of respect for the university and the students, I won't be going deep into the universities. We're now in front of Loyola University, uh, which is also on St. Charles, right next door to Tulane, and you can see that we're in front of a different university because the flags on St. Charles change from Tulane flags to Loyola flags. Loyola was chartered in 1912 uh, as an accredited private Jesuit institution that's open to students of all faiths, and in addition to its nationally recognized campus programs, Loyola University of New Orleans is now offering in-demand online degrees that challenge students to develop their talents to the fullest. Loyola focuses on the fact that a Jesuit education focuses on academic rigor and educating the whole person, mind, body, and spirit, to unlock the student's full potential. Loyola graduates are innovators, entrepreneurs, and free thinkers poised to begin successful careers and make their mark on the world after they graduate. In fact, 87% of Loyola graduates are employed within their career field or in advanced study within six months of graduating. By the way, I just want to mention we're in the beautiful Garden District of New Orleans, which is just a cable car away from the French Quarter. Um, and these two beautiful campuses are right across the street, uh, St. Charles Avenue, from Audubon Park, which is a wonderful park that I'm going to cover in another video on this channel. Tulane and Loyola University students are perhaps some of the luckiest in the world in that they get their education, study, and live on beautiful campuses in the beautiful area of New Orleans known as the Garden District with uh, Audubon Park across the street. And there's a streetcar right at their doorstep that takes them into party headquarters down the French Quarter. And they can get back and forth to all areas of New Orleans very safely any time of the day or night. 
And although we're walking away from the campuses of Tulane and Loyola, I have a feeling many of these buildings in the Garden District are owned by the universities for housing for their students. These tracks that you see here are part of the St. Charles streetcar line um, that takes you not only to Loyola and Tulane, but also Audubon Park, which we're going to visit in another video, as well as Audubon Zoo, which we're going to visit in another video, which is going to come up soon. Uh, the streetcar, I believe, is $1.25 or $1.50. I think it's $3 for a round trip. It's a beautiful ride. It's, if you want to take a ride to nowhere, just hop on down in the French Quarter on Canal Street, and it'll take you on a uh, trip that's about an hour, a little over an hour round trip, and it takes you through beautiful areas of the Garden District as well as downtown New Orleans. If you want to catch a ride on the uh, St. Charles Streetcar line, you need to cross St. Charles Street and get on the median, and you'll see clearly labeled signs that say this is a drop-off pickup point. They're usually about every two blocks, but if you're in between, the uh, cable car conductor usually stops off and picks you up regardless. If you're staying more than a weekend in New Orleans, I really suggest you check out this beautiful area. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like, comment, ask some questions, and most importantly, subscribe by clicking on the button on the left. You can visit all of my New York videos by clicking on the top right, or check out my videos on other favorite places to visit by clicking on the bottom right. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around the city.